Spain has Alibaba and the government in its corner. Can it start selling electric cars before Elon Musk builds his factory? Henry Xia jumps into the burnt toast colored electric car he helped build as co founder of Spang Motors Technology Limited and commands it to play Green Day's 21 Guns. He asks the car about traffic conditions and starts driving. The 35 year old is the most senior car executive at a Chinese automaker that hasn't delivered a single vehicle, doesn't own a factory, and hasn't obtained a production license from the government. At least, not yet. What the four year old startup has is backing from tech giant Alibaba Group Holding Limited. Foxconn Technology Group and Xiaomi Corporation founder Lei Jun. Spang expects to raise more than $600 million this month from investors that include Alibaba, is valuing it close to $4 billion, according to a person familiar with the fundraising. In a test drive of Spang's first crossover around a drab cement office park in Guangzhou, the roomy SUV drives smoothly, with a Tesla-like panoramic windshield and sleek exterior. But it's the voice controls, streaming music, live video, driver tracking maps and other software that reveal the auto ambitions of the company's Chinese tech backers. Speng is making the equivalent of a smartphone with a steering wheel. XIA explains why the company nicknamed this car David, we're going up against Goliath, he says, referring to the hundreds of automakers churning out electric vehicles in China, where half of the world's EVs are sold. It's not about the physical car anymore, which anyone can now manufacture, Xia says, but about building a robot on wheels. Dotspang is primed to capitalize on a trade tussle that is already jacking up car prices. As China hits back against the U.S. with retaliatory tariffs, import duties on American-made cars have increased to 40%. But perhaps the bigger opportunity comes from Tesla Incorporated still diminutive presence in China, creating an opening for local startups to hawk cheaper, technology-centric electric vehicles. Tesla reached a preliminary agreement last week with the Shanghai government to build China's first car production facility wholly owned by a foreign automaker. Tesla expects car production to start within two years of starting construction and to churn out 500,000 cars per year in China two to three years after that. It won't be easy, Tesla's made lofty promises before, only to delay plans. It will also have to clear hard to navigate government approvals and obtain permits. With just $2.7 billion in cash, Tesla must absorb what Bloomberg Intelligence estimates to be a $10 billion cost to build the plant, and hasn't specified where it will get the money. Tesla is running out of time, says John Tseng, managing director of LMC Automotive Shanghai. He estimates that the American automaker sold fewer than 15,000 cars in China last year, claiming just 3% of the battery-powered market. In total, 25 million cars were sold in China last year. Funding capital is less of a concern for the local startups trying to outrun Elon Musk. China's government is offering financial and political support for electric vehicle companies as it attempts to lead the world in the field, fueling the rise of Spang and hundreds of other rivals. President Xi Jinping pledges to open markets and curtail protectionism, even as he lavishes assistance on domestic makers of electric cars, artificial intelligence and semiconductors. China's electric car buyers get price subsidies of as much as $10,000 per vehicle, for example, and can also dodge license plate restrictions that impede sales of gasoline-powered cars.
That support, combined with ample cash from China's tech leaders and the comparative ease of building EVs instead of traditional cars, has seeded a crop of startups competing with such established automakers as Babe Company. Beijing Automotive Group Company and Zhejiang Geely Holding Group Company. Those established Chinese automakers have also benefited from Tesla's slow arrival. Beijing Automotive sold 78,000 units of the budget Baek EC180, China's best selling battery powered car last year, five times Tesla's China sales. Its sticker price in Beijing starts at 49,800 yuan, $7,453. The price of Tesla's bigger Model S increased to 1.47 million yuan after the recent tariff hike. At least four other EV startups have already joined Spang in surpassing $1 billion valuations, according to research firm China Money Network, including NIO, WM Motor Technology Company. Byton and Yuyan Motors. The larger group of startups can't all survive, warns Bloomberg New Energy Finance analyst Nanan Ku, especially as China phases out F subsidies in the next two years. Tesla has shown building a car company is a cash burning operation, Ku says. Only those startups with the most capital from big backers will fend off the intense competition. It didn't have to be this way. Shortly after Tesla started selling its Model S in China in 2014, Shanghai officials asked Musk to build a factory, with one proposed location in its Pudong district, said Ding Lei, one of the negotiators. Tesla insisted on sole ownership, rather than working with a Chinese partner, the auto manufacturing norm in China for the past few decades. Neither side budged. If Musk agreed with the proposal Pudong offered at that time, Tesla could have been totally different, says Ding, who founded F startup Hewer and Technology R&D Company. Last year and credits Tesla's absence for the opportunity. He Shopping first took notice of Tesla in 2014, after Musk publicly shared some patents. That was the year he sold his web browser, Aquab Incorporated, to Alibaba for close to $5 billion. Tesla's patent trove convinced him that self-driving cars would inevitably become data-collecting hardware devices that tech companies would monetize through apps and services. He recruited five engineers and sunk several hundred million yuan of his own into starting Spang while keeping his day job as the leader of Alibaba's digital entertainment business. On the day his son was born, he got a call at the hospital from Jixin Fu, a Shanghai-based managing partner for GGV Capital and Inspeng Investor. His advice, go run Spang full-time. The investor reminded he, who hadn't yet turned 40, that he wasn't getting any younger. I wanted my son to grow up and feel proud his dad was doing something more meaningful than working on a web browser, says he, now 41. While accepting his resignation in May 2017, Alibaba CEO Daniel Zhang insisted on investing in Spang. Two weeks later, he struck a deal over breakfast at Alibaba Executive Vice Chairman Joseph Tsai's Hong Kong home. Alibaba would become Spang's second-largest shareholder, and Tsai would join the board. China's tech titans have insatiable appetites for data on where drivers go, which routes they take, where they shop, and how they pay. Spang's cars utilize Alibaba maps and other software, though Spang created its own operating system for faster, over-the-air updates. Like the iPhone, Cars will be another connected platform to sell music, mapping and services, and collect driver data, Fu says.
Alibaba's rivals are making similar bets. Tencent Holdings Limited purchased 5% of Tesla for $1. 8 billion in March 2017. The parent company of which it also backs Neo, which filed confidentially for a U.S. initial public offering, people with knowledge of the matter said earlier this year. Tencent also placed a bet on WM Motor, which said in December it had raised 12 billion yuan from investors, including Baidu Capital. Zpeng, which has 1,800 employees, conserved its initial financing, thanks to national and local support for land, office space and production facilities. The company used that cash for research and development, spending heavily in its earliest days to buy and disassemble two dozen Tesla, Lexus, and BMW vehicles. It also poached a Tesla autopilot engineer, Gu Junli, to oversee an 100-employee autonomous driving and AI operation in Mountain View, California. A hardware engineer poached from Apple Inc., Zhang Xialang, was arrested on charges of stealing driverless car research last week at San Jose International Airport before boarding a flight bound to China. Zpeng denies receiving any sensitive information from Apple and says it has terminated Zhang. By October 2017, Zpeng manufactured a batch of SUVs named David 1.0. Instead of opening public sales, Zpeng gave away or leased the 400 cars to employees who sent daily reports on technology glitches, manufacturing mishaps and design suggestions. The early feedback included requests to fashion more comfortable seats. It's common to release software with bugs, but with cars it's hard to come back if customers don't like your first one, he says. That all led to January's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, where Spang revealed its first car for sale, a Cherry Red G3 with autonomous parking, a smartphone app to unlock the car, and a 360-degree camera ascending from the roof. By late November, Spang plans to start delivering some of the 4,000 pre-ordered G3 cars to enthusiasts plunking down non-refundable deposits. The cars will cost from 200,000 to 280,000 yuan before subsidies kick in. Dotspang is contracting production to Haima Automobile Group Company. In Zhengzhou, plans call for a third model, a sedan with a bigger chassis, to be created in Spang's own facility under construction in Zhaoking. He acknowledges the considerable odds facing Spang even with the support of China's tech giants and government. With a global supply chain spanning hundreds of thousands of parts, Tesla and other startups have struggled to ramp up production quickly, and Spang is no different. There are 300 F companies in China, he says, and the Darwinian struggle is just starting. In China, if you're just copying from others, you are going to die. It's the companies that learn from those like Tesla that will survive.